Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. This has been highly requested. I am currently working with a client um, and this is just going to empower and conclude the spell work that we're doing. Now, what can you uh, do this for? This is primarily, um, primarily has to do with seduction. Uh, so this is a sexual spell. This is for those of you guys that have been perhaps in a long-term relationship and the passion has weathered. Uh, there's not such strong connection or on the physical aspect. And you're wanting them to come more towards you to be more loving, more passionate, more intense, basically to ignite that passion. Um, now, this could be done on a specific person if you yourself have been single for quite a while and what you're looking for is basically to connect with someone on a physical on a physical aspect uh, not so much about there is a difference between sexual uh, connections and those of you guys that are looking for let's say something a little bit more long term uh, this is a sexual uh, spell like i said the primary goal here is to either amplify your sexual connection with your partner or to bring in a new person. This is a love spell. Uh, sorry, not a love spell, a lust spell. Uh, so this is, like I said, if you are going through perhaps a dry season with your partner, this is definitely going to amplify that and get the ball rolling. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while and we all have needs and you're trying to uh, basically take care of business, then this spell is for you as well. Do not confuse this with love spells. This is very different. Like I said, it is a lust spell. Now, out of all the spell works that you can possibly do, lust is something that is very prominent, meaning it's very quick to see results. Why? Because it is very connected to earth. We are, we are earthly bound. Uh, and lust is a physical form of manifestation of the desire and the passion within us so it's very easy to be able to manifest this again use your common sense you guys if you're doing this because you're trying to bring uh, someone uh, to have a sexual relationship and you're not doing it particularly for anyone more so than for yourself to be able to bring opportunities to you please use your common sense like I said, this is a lust spell. And what's going to happen is that it's going to bring to you anyone uh, that is really in the need or in the desire to have that sexual connection. So again, if you're not, let's say you got out of a relationship and you're not fully healed and you do a lust spell, what's going to happen is that you're going to be bringing or attracting to you perhaps people that um, are very toxic or people that are not primarily good for you, um, but they're coming towards you. Why? Because you're becoming a magnet. Um, so again, use your common sense. This is not a spell to bring monogamy to your relationship or to a relationship, like to bring a long-term relationship to you. This is definitely not for you. Now, I would ideally use this either if you are just wanting to have fun and enjoy yourself um, or if you're in a relationship and there's no sex and basically you're trying to make it happen, you're trying to get the ball rolling, you want to ignite that passion within you guys, this is your go-to. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the ingredients. What you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing a red candle. Now, in this case, I'm going to be using a pink candle. And the reason why we're using pink is because this uh, candle has been uh, prepared and has made specifically for my client. Um, so again, uh, we have all the elements, all the ingredients, and all of the herbs that are necessary in order to get the rendered results that we're looking for. So again, you may see that I'm using a pink candle, and the reason for that is because they actually do have a relationship. They do have a commitment, uh, but she's trying to bring more passion, more of that physical connection. So again, this candle has been primarily prepared for my client. In your case, make sure to use a red or pink candle. Uh, pink, 
uh, more so to do if you are in a relationship. Um, red just to attract uh, and get basically get um, more suitors coming your way. Okay, so what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing spearmint or any type of mint. Uh, this has sweetness and rejuvenation properties to it. So again, we're trying to raise our vibration as well as if you're doing this for your partner, this is going to sweeten up the situation as well as create some type of rejuvenation energy uh, for them to see you in different eyes, for them to see you, their attention more towards you. You're also going to be using roses. So it could be any type of rose as long as it's dry. You uh, may feel more comfortable working with fresh. Ideally, uh, I, I feel that when it comes to spell work, the, the, the better results you get when they're dry ingredients. So um, you're also going to be needing a red pen, parchment paper, as you can see here. Uh, like I said, a red or pink candle. You're also going to be needing some Florida water. You're going to be needing some patchouli uh, leaves. And you're also going to be using some type of roses, like I said. Let me move this. Okay. So what we're going to do, um, also, you're going to be, sorry, you're also going to be using some of the love oils uh, for myself. I'm going to be using Dove's oil, um, not oil, sorry, Dove's blood. And I'm also going to be using um, Jezebel oil. But you can use any type of love oils that you may have. Uh, it could be come to me oil. It could be uh, rush to me oil. It could be do as I say oil. It could be love oil. Anything that is in the love family uh, in regards to oils that you're going to be using, okay? You're also going to be uh, needing a plate. It could be like this one, ideally, only because I am doing a multitude of them and I actually have a few already set to go. But you can use anything you like in regards to a plate where you're going to be putting everything. You're also going to be needing, uh, you're also going to be using some dry basil. Um, and you have the option of using some type of honey or sugar. Uh, or you can use a mixture of both. Okay? All right. Now, the primary thing that you're going to need is a picture of the person that you're doing this for. If you have a picture of both of you guys together, that would certainly work. If you're doing this for yourself um, to bring new suitors to you, uh, then you would use just your picture. Okay? So, I'm going to be... Okay, so let's just pretend that this is a picture. I don't want to show the information of my client. We're going to keep that completely private. So this is the picture that I'm going to show you guys. Um, so this is the picture. What we're going to do in the picture is we're going to basically uh, put the, if you're doing this for your partner, you're going to put your partner's first name and last with a DOB, his date of birth or her date of birth, okay? So you're going to put the first and last name and date of birth. If you're doing this uh, for, let's say you're doing this for yourself and you're not working anyone, it would be a picture of yourself with your first name, last name, and date of birth, okay? Now we're going to put that aside. We're going to get the parchment paper. And we're going to do the same thing. So if you're doing this for a partner or your husband, your girlfriend, what you're going to do is you're going to put their information. Okay, so it's, um, it's going to be their first name, name, and last, and date of birth, like this. All right. Then you're going to turn it to the right once. You're going to put your information. And date of birth. Okay? So it's going to look like this. Your information and date of birth. Okay? So remember, if you're doing this, if you're doing this for 
if you're doing this for your partner, if you're doing this for your relationship, the first name and last name and date of birth is going to go first. And this is going to be your partner's information. Okay. Then you're going to turn it to the right and you're going to put your information and your date of birth. Like this. Okay. Then you're going to turn it right again. Let me see. Then you're going to turn it right again and you're going to write down your petition. Okay, you're going to write down your petition going down. So in this process, it's very important to write down exactly what it is that you want. As an example, uh, you would write I, first name, last name, date of birth. I'm calling, and you're going to put your partner's information and date of birth to desire me, to lust after me. to have amazing, passionate, intense sex, to connect with one another. If it's been a while that you guys have been together, it's going to be the best night of our lives. Our energies are going to become one. It's going to be explosive, intense, and passionate. Okay? Now, if you're doing this for yourself, you're not doing it for anyone. You're doing this for yourself. Then what you're going to do is you're going to write your name and last date of birth like this. Then you're going to turn it to the right and you're going to write down your petition. So as an example, you would write, um, I'm calling towards me a person that is extremely passionate, a person that is intense. I want to have the best, or if you, uh, there's certain things that you're interested in. This is where you're going to be writing. Uh, depending on what you're into, you could be as specific and as blunt as possible. As an example, if you go both ways, you would put, I'm calling towards me men and women um, that are looking for a, a sexual, intense, passionate connection, someone that is going to fulfill or that is willing to fulfill all my fantasies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay? So that's basically what we're going to do. Once you have that, you're going to put your picture or the picture of your partner on top of this. We're going to anoint it. Now, before we get into that, we're going to use some Florida water. Oh, I think I got the closed one. Give me one second. Sorry about that. I grabbed the closed one. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some Florida water to this plate. All right. And what you're going to do is you're going to rub it all around. And you're going to start going in a clockwise position. And you're going to say out loud, I call upon the spirits, the spirits of lust, desire. I ask you to step forward and be present in this spell work that is about to commence. I ask you to charge and empower every single ingredient that goes into this spell work to render results as quickly, as swiftly, and as easily as possible. Okay? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this Florida water to cleanse and remove any excess or negative energy for the work that is about to commence. Allow us to raise the vibrations to the highest of the potential for my client to be able to bring to her and render her quick and fast lightning results as quickly as possible. Blessed be. Okay. So once we've done that, what we're going to do now is we are going to get the picture and the parchment paper I'm probably going to skip this because I'm trying to keep my client's information completely private. Okay, my lovelies, we skipped a few steps only because I want to keep my uh, client's information completely private. 
So once we have and uh, once we've introduced the Florida water, what we're going to do is we're going to put the parchment paper and the picture on the center of the plate. We're going to add the basil leaves and the spearmint or mint uh, dry mint uh, into the on top of the picture. Now we're going to be adding some rose petals. Okay. And when you're doing this, uh, make sure to take your time. Really, you know, really put effort and energy into what you're doing. Um, here's the thing. It's very important when it comes to spell work to put your intentions. That is the primary goal, the primary focus when doing spell work. Um, to empower, you must tell the herbs, you must tell the water, you must tell all the ingredients that you're using in the spell work, what you want them to do. So obviously roses to intensify the passion, the desire, the basil leaves to create a harmonious type of energy, someone that is ideally looking for the same thing we're looking for because my client is currently going through a situation. The basil leaves are also going to help and assist to create a uh, energy that is very organic, that is, uh, that the partner is not constantly on their mind, that they're not anxious. Uh, it brings calmness to the situation. And introducing the oils, the love oils now, um, once we've put the roses, rose petals, we're going to be adding some patchouli leaves here. Okay. And really, like I said, when you're doing this, really put your intent, your energy, asking them what you want to happen to intensify the passion, the desire for one another so that they can become one, so that they can have a stronger, more concise, more fertile, more strong connection to empower their relationship, okay? All right, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we are going to get some of the oils and rub them in an upward position with the candle. So this is the part where you would get your candle. Obviously, this candle has already been ritualized and consecrated for my client. Like I said, this is a candle that is or has been particularly done specifically for her situation. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to cement it. And that is basically it's done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to light the candle. We're going to let it completely completely extinguished. All the wax that is going to go into this plate or into this tray, uh, when it's done, the spell work has been completed. Um, so what you do ideally would be to get the foil paper with all of its contents and the melted wax and put it, uh, close it and put it um, in a cloth or somewhere where you can put it away, uh, let it sit where no one would touch it don't, no one's going to mess with it. Um, and once it is or has been manifested for you, like I said, you can keep it with you. If you decide that uh, at some point, as an example, if you're doing this to bring uh, more sexual partners or to bring someone to you that, you know, you're just trying to get laid, basically. Um, once that is done, you can always undo everything and toss it out. Okay. So that's basically what we're going to do. Let me add a few drops of honey, and then we're set to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add some honey all around. Okay.
clean this real quickly. All right, my lovely, so once this is done, all we're going to do now, all that there's left to do is take a couple of minutes with the candle. Uh, like I said, when you're infusing it and putting your oils, uh, really put your intention and your effort into what you're doing. Let the candle know exactly what you're trying to bring towards you, okay? Once that is done, you're going to bless it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I bless and consecrate this ritual that is about to commence. Allow me to be able to render results to my client so that she may actually see and experience, experience a prosperous relationship, a strong connection, not only in the physical aspect, but in the emotional. Uh, allow them to be able to guide them and pull them towards each other in a much more closer way. Let it be the manifestation of all the years that they have been together. Empower and strengthen their love and union. All right. So once that is done. All we do is light the candle and it's done. So what you're going to do for the coming days is allow the candle to completely um, to completely extinguish uh, to its full um, all the way to the bottom. Here's the thing. If you um, get a candle like this, it should last you about four to five days. Uh, if it burns out quicker, then obviously it's a, just a signifier that there's no resistance in the work that is being done. Um, if it does take five to seven days and you have to go out, you have to do things and you can't be around the candle, always make sure to snuff out your candles, you guys, uh, for safety purposes, of course, it's very important. Uh, so don't forget to do that. And more than anything, be very careful not to blow out the candle. Never blow out your work. It is very important and very crucial never to do so. Why? Because the moment you blow out your candle, what you're doing is basically you're breaking or undoing or uh, basically stopping the progress of the work that is being done. So it's very important, just like it is important to use matches, not to use a lighter because, again, you are cutting uh, all the work and effort that you've done and that it has gone into the spell work, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, try this out. You're going to be blown away. And, of course, use common sense, you guys. If you start to get, you know, crackheads coming towards you <laughs> or people that are just nymphos, et cetera, use common sense and don't fall for them. Uh, meaning, you know, use your discernation to be able to uh, decide which are the best ideal partners for you, okay? All right, my lovelies, I send you guys all my love, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.